Hello, you are welcome to solve this math problem which is x plus y is equal to 100, xy is equal to 1000. To find the values of x and y's from these two systems of equations. Now in the first step, let's start by letting this as equation 1 and this as equation 2. So from equation 1, which is this here, x plus y is equal to 100. Here, we'll make y the subject. So we'll take x to the left side. So it will be y is equal to 100. We'll take x to this side to be minus x. So let's call this equation 3. Then in the next step, from equation 2, whereas equation 2 is this here, which is x, y is equal to 1000. Into here, y, we substitute y, which is from equation 3, y is equal to 100 minus x. So it will be x times y, it will be bracket 100 minus x, bracket is equal to 1000. Then you multiply x times 100, it is 100x. x times negative x is negative x square is equal to 1000. Then we'll start by this here, negative x square, then plus 100x. This 1000 take to this side to be minus 1000 is equal to 0. Then from this quadratic equation, we'll make this negative x square positive. So we'll divide the whole equation, divide by negative 1. So negative x square divided by negative 1 is positive x square. 100x divided by negative 1 is minus 100x. Minus 1000 divided by negative 1, it is positive 1000 is equal to 0 divided by negative 1, it is 0. Then from this quadratic equation here, we'll solve this by using quadratic formula. So from quadratic formula, which is x is equal to negative b plus or minus square root of b square minus 4ac over 2a. So it will be x is equal to negative b. b is coefficient of x, which is this bracket to be negative 100 bracket plus or minus square root of b square. It will be b square to be negative 100 bracket square. Then minus 4 times a, a is 1 times c, c is 1000. Then over 2 times a, a it is 1. Then it will be x is equal to negative times negative 100 is positive 100 plus or minus square root of negative 100 square it is 10,000 positive negative 4 times 1,000 is negative 4,000 then over 2 2 times 1 is 2 then in the next step it will be x is equal to 100 plus or minus square root of 10,000 minus 4,000 is 6,000 then over this 2. So it will be x is equal to 100 plus or minus square root of 6,000 is same as 60 times 100 because you can find the square root of 100 it is 10. Now then over this 2. Then in the next step, it will be x is equal to 100 plus or minus. From here, square root of 60. Let's find the factors of 60. 60, prime factors of 60 is divisible by 2. Here it will be 30. Then divide by 2, it is 15. Then divide by 3, it is 5. Then divide by 5, it is 1. So it will be square root of 60. 60 is same as 2 times 2, which is 2 square. Then times 3 times 5, it is 15. Then times this 100. Then over this 2. Then the next step, it will be x is equal to 
100 plus or minus we separate this so it will be square root of 2 square then times square root of 15 then times square root of 100 then over this 2 then it will be x is equal to 100 plus or minus square root of 2 square it is 2 times square root of 15 times square root of 100 it is 10 then over 2 then it will be x is equal to 100 plus or minus 2 times 10 it is 20 square root of this 15 then we divide by 2 in this part and this part so here it will be over 2 and here over 2 so it will be x is equal to 100 divided by 2 it is 50 plus or minus 20 divided by 2 it is 10 square root of 15 so into here we have two values of x therefore the first value of x we have two solutions first value of x is 50 plus 10 square root of 15 so 50 plus 10 square root of 15 and the second value of x is equal to 50 minus 10 square root of 15 now after got the values of x we recall from the third equation which is this here y is equal to 100 minus x so this is x1 so y1 is equal to 100 minus x so it will be minus x1 so it will be y1 is equal to 100 minus bracket x1 is this so 50 plus 10 square root of 15 so it will be y1 is equal to 100 we open the bracket so it will be minus 50 here it will be minus 10 square root of 15 so it will be y1 is equal to 100 minus 50 it is 50 then minus 10 square root of 15 so this is x1 and this is y1 now let's solve from the second solution this is x2 so y2 is equal to this here it will be y2 is equal to 100 minus x2 so it will be y2 is equal to 100 minus bracket x2 is this here 50 minus 10 square root of 15 bracket so it will be y2 is equal to 100 we take negative inside the bracket so it will be minus 50 here to be plus 10 square root of 15 so it will be y2 is equal to 100 minus 50 it is 50 then plus 10 square root of 15 so this is x2 this is y2 therefore our conclusion x1 comma y1 bracket is equal to x1 is this here fifth bracket 50 plus 10 square root of 15 comma y1 is this 50 minus 10 square root of 15 bracket then x2 comma y2 is equal to x2 is this 50 minus 10 square root of 15 so it will be bracket 50 minus 10 square root of 15 comma y2 is this here 50 plus 10 square root of 15 bracket so these are the two solutions into this are problem whereas the value of x in the first solution it is the value of y in the second solution and the value of y in the first solution it is the value of x in the second solution now let's check from the two equations which are x plus y is equal to 100 and you have the second equation which is x times y is equal to 1000 so let's check this 
here by using the first solution so x plus y is it equal to 100 so x is this here so 50 plus 10 square root of 15 then plus y is this 50 minus 10 square root of 15 is it equal to this 100 now 10 square root of 15 minus 10 square root of 15 is 0 so this and this will cancel then it will be 50 times 50 plus 50 it is 100 is equal to 100 so left side and right side are equal now let's check for this second equation by using the answers into this first solution so from x times y is it equal to 1000 so x is this here 50 plus 10 square root of 15 then bracket times y y is this 50 minus 10 square root of 15 is it equal to this 1000 so from 50 times 50 it is 2500 50 times negative 10 square root of 15 it is negative 5 then double zeros square root of 15 then plus 10 square root of 15 times 50 to be plus 10 times 50 here it is 500 square root of 15 then plus 10 square root of 15 times minus 10 square root of 15 it will be minus 10 times 10 is 100 square root of 15 times square root of 15 it is 15 then is it equal to this 1000 now from here 500 square root of 15 minus 500 square root of 15 is 0 so this and this will cancel then it will be this here which is 2500 minus 100 times 15 it is minus 1500 is it equal to this 1000 now when you check here 2500 minus 1500 it is 1000 which is equal to 1000 so left side and right side are equal then it is true for this thing this solution also the second solution is correct thank you for watching don't forget these steps to miss out subscribe to my channel and see you in the next video bye bye